So let's have a look at the Daily Mail and these woke non-jobs, Miriam. That's right, because we have a lot of people in woke subjects from woke universities and there's now loads of NHS woke non-jobs, um, including a £115,000 a year director of lived experience. That's, that's a good lived experience, £115,000. <laughs> I love a non-job. Does that mean you can just have, like, a non... that You just get up and you non-get up? I mean, how does it work? <laughs> you get up, you go in and you talk about making the world equal. Nice. Uh, but I don't know if that's actually saving lives. So basically, yeah, millions of pounds, uh, probably more, <laughs> is, is being funneled into these uh, schemes. And, um, you know, there needs to be kind of some kind of budget. You know, looking at, looking at the fact that all these nurses have gone on strike, surely they should be receiving more money than well, ideological. One would think, Miriam, but that would be too normal. I mean, my friend calls this the uh, die because it's diversity, inclusion and equality, and he says die needs to die. And I, I was talking to my friend Callum on Lotus, he's a very, very smart guy, a lot of statistics, you know, he always has statistics yeah. ready. And I said, but isn't this overdone? Like, Leo on this show is always saying, if you took this money, you could pay for everything. And I was thinking, no, you couldn't. But actually, it is a lot of money. You could pay for all the pay rises yeah. instead of this rubbish. Yeah, of course, for people what? that actually need Need money. it, yeah. What um, do you think, I've, I've actually got quite a contrarian view here. Okay. I, I think they should really? keep all these work jobs but also they should have a load of red pill jobs as well, just to balance it out. <laughs> you could just have guys like doing squats, paid by the NHS, just, you know, hunting elk, elk making podcasts. That would be... I think that's the best way to keep it fair. And, and Jonathan, for, for, for my mum watching at home, explain yeah. red pill. Oh, she knows. No, no. Uh, <laughs> what is it? So uh, the red pill is kind of, I guess it's like a slang term, which would maybe be ideologically opposed for, to woke. I think it's kind of a, yeah. maybe a male-oriented... Orientated, uh, Viewpoint, perhaps? Yeah, there's yeah. two. Not there's, necessarily. There's... I, I see right. it as more just pragmatic. Well, there's two. There's the, the relationships one that says, hey, guys, we, we shouldn't get married anymore because it's all ruined. That's the sort of... Yeah. No, that's, ju that's just the pill. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then there's the political one, which is like, I've woken up and seen through the mainstream media and so on. But, yeah, I mean, this comes after uh, Savage Javid said that there were too many roles of this kind. Have you noticed that Javid's getting a bit more rogue? Because he sort of said, I'm not. I'm going to stand down anyway. Yeah. The other day he said, the NHS is unsustainable, guys, by the way. I love that. <laughs> this is about to leave. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, by the way, that doesn't work. See you later. Yeah, it's right. not my responsibility. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm never going to forget his uh, his forced mandated vaccinations during that COVID hysteria. And, I, yeah. Yes. I, I was put me off him now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, luckily he's going anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah.